Hello and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. In this video, I am showing how to make my new garage door. I guess you can call it a garage door. This wasn't meant to be a garage, but whatever. Um, when I was building this, I wanted it. I didn't want it to be so tall, but whatever. It was meant to be like an underground base type thing, and this is just how you get in. So I wanted the doors to not be noticeable. So you wouldn't know where they are. So I tried a few things, and this is what I came up with. The reason it opens like this... Well, the reason I had to put this little detail stuff in it is because you can see here at the top, I had to cut it out. So that the door could go back into place. Because when I had it had blocks there, it would catch and it wouldn't close. And at first I tried making a door that opened, like went over and then up. And then I tried making a door that went over and then this way and nothing really seemed to work. And I wanted as little pistons and bearings as I could. But it ended up being heavy so I had to use two on either side anyways. So I'll show it working on the inside before I start showing how to build it. It is a very simple design. So now I will show how to build it. What I recommend doing is finding a flat area, but for now I'm just going to build it here. I'm going to turn off foliage so I can show the bottom better okay so what you'll need is whatever you're making the wall out of I'm going to use concrete and then you will need some pipes bearings piston not the mod one you need a piston and a switch. That's basically all you need. And this is, you can make this in vanilla with no problem. I'm going to grab a, uh, I'm going to grab a panel. So I have a flat surface to build on. Wherever they went. There we go. Try and set this down. There we go. Okay. So how I recommend starting it is figuring out where you want your like walls and doors to be. I'm gonna go here. And then take your biggest vehicle you have. So for me, it is this. Then what you want to do is line it up under where you're putting the door. In this way, you will know the minimum width and height it needs to be. And then getting stuck in it like usual. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. Here's the start. So now, I will go up above the truck. Um... A little bit higher, just to be safe. Over. And then back down. And there we go. That is the main... Main, uh, like, template or whatever. So just move this out of the way. And 
that and cut it off. Put the block back under it. Depending on how big your door is, you will need to build it on the lift, like I did with that, because I had to put four pistons on it. So what I did with that is, here, I had to build out a little bit, so the piston can be set into it. At the very top of, the, of your door, oh I also forgot something really quick. Okay. Uh, do, do. Like so. And then you take off this part. Yeah, you take off this part here. There we go. Okay, and you put two of your pistons with elbows and bearings. Two more elbows, and then you put the door in. And my phone is going up. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forgot I had it in the ground. There we go. And then weld the two sides together. And that's your main door. Now, set it back down, and then, this is the outside, so you can do whatever you want to make this fit with whatever you're putting it on, and then you take the bottom, put a block, right under this piston, on either side, put a piston there and there, and then the same thing with the elbows. And then put it on the lift and weld it on. Like so. And that is the door itself basically done. Oh, I just bit my lip, that hurt. And then you put on... You don't have to use a controller, but I like to, for this. So you put on your controller, and then you connect it to the pistons. Okay. So now, you take the height of the door. So it's one, two, up from above the piston. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. So to go up about, it will go up about fifteen blocks. So I'm going to open that. One and two are the bottom, three and four are the top. So I'm going to push out three and four. Just enough to get it out. And then I'm going to put this up ten. And it falls over. So I'm going to put some supports on it just to keep, uh, keep it from falling over. At this point, you would have it welded in to your building. But, oh well. There we go. That should help it stay level. Oh yeah, and set this speed to low. Now, an issue I made, or a mistake, is I put the controller on the piston. 
above the piston. There we go. Okay. So now that I know what moves, go back and set your lower ones a little bit lower than the number you counted for the height. So I'm going to go with 12 for now. And then put top about two lower. Just for now. And I forgot to set it to low. So now, the issue is I don't have the top going far enough. So, I will up it by two. And that will allow it to go further. And then two more. And nothing happens. So you can see the, the bottom part of the door can still go up more. So I'll bring that up. That's too high. And there we go. So now once you have the height for the bottom, what I do is I stand back so I can see the angle of this. Like that. And then adjust these ones and just make sure it is straight because if you go like this and just drop it way down it won't show it okay when I was making that one it bent this piston Okay. Let's see if I can do this one by one. It looks like I can just up it by one by one. You want it to the point like that. And then you can see it pushes them. there we go. Then just make sure it's not glitching or pushing the bearings out or anything. So that looks like... You can see here, I need to extend the upper pistons. So now if we go back and look, that is centered more in the bearing. So now it works. And then we close it. And there you go. Oops. And then you can do whatever from here. And that is the door done. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.